Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. We're talking about hot dog Linux today on Jeremy's Tech Channel. Oh my goodness. Someone uh, posted on one of my videos and said there is a Linux distribution called Hot Dog Linux. Hot Dog Linux, y'all. Someone made a distribution named Hot Dog Linux. So we're gonna check it out today. <laughs> we're gonna check it out. It's my research, it's got some pretty interesting philosophy. It's obviously, I'll just say some tongue in cheek humor going on here and I absolutely am loving it. Uh, we're gonna go through, we're gonna take a look at a couple of the live environments that they have and just poke around and have some fun today. I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I'm grinning from ear to ear just reading the documentation and walking through some of this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So let me switch over to my desktop. We'll, we will look at the web page. <laughs> Then we will go through some of the live environments and you'll see why we have to do multiple. And then we'll see if Hot Dog Linux is for us. Let's check it out. As you can tell, the website has a certain theme to it. Some technical things that we can gather from it. This is the installer ISO that they have set is based on Slackware 64. You can have it written to a USB stick. I'll be running it through a virtual machine today. You can get the source code here. You go through some of these miscellaneous pieces, which is at the front of their website. They kind of go through and kind of talk about some of their philosophy. Cartoons, comic strips, and user interfaces. Cartoons and comic strips are interesting forms of communication. Cartoons are simple, yet expressive. One of the philosophies of Hot Dog Linux is for the user interface to be reminiscent of a cartoon or comic. This stands in opposition to flat design. I'm not sure if there is an underlying philosophy to flat design other than let's throw out what works well and try something else. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, you can already tell just by reading that one piece, there is a sense here of some tongue in cheek comedy uh, or sense of humor here that I am absolutely loving. The design goals of Hot Dog Linux include graphical user interface based on retro computer systems, including Windows 3.0, Hot Dog Stand, <laughs> Amiga Workbench, Atari ST Gem, and Mac Classic and Aqua. All right, custom lightweight Objective-C foundation, bitmapped graphics, low DPI displays, no Unicode, support by design. <laughs> I love this. Low DPI displays are preferred since the graphics are bitmapped and fixed in size. The preferred aspect ratio for Hot Dog Linux is five by four in landscape and three by four in portrait. <laughs> Hot Dog Linux does not use automatic reference counting. It causes problems with type checking during compilation and in parentheses it says it's too strict. And then Hot Dog Linux is an acronym that stands for Horrible Obsolete Typeface and Dreadful On-Screen Graphics for Linux. Oh baby, this is gonna be fun. Now there's some screenshots down here on the website. I don't wanna ruin it for you, so we're gonna walk through these pieces now. So we're gonna fire up my virtual machine. The virtual machine is set up with 16 gigabytes of RAM and eight cores on Vert Manager. Let's go ahead and get this booted up. And as you can see here, there are three main versions that you can choose from that we're gonna check out today. Uh, we're gonna check out Live Aqua, then we'll check out Live Amiga and Live Mac. And <laughs> we will see how gorgeous this is. I, I can't believe how much enjoyment I got out of reading the documentation. It's, uh, it's not every day I get that kind of joy out of something like that. Welcome to Hot Dog Linux, which is, you know, a spin of Slackware. Check it out. Now, I grew up in elementary school where we had some old school Macs that we were using for our education pieces. Um, and yes, we did play Oregon Trail on that. <laughs> you can install Hot Dog Linux. After we go through these three, maybe we'll walk through I don't know. We can go through and check out the main root file system. You've got, <laughs> I love the way this looks. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, that's just glorious. I love it. 
So let's uh, check out, let's see, they've got Chromium here. I don't show that I have network. Let's set up this one. We're setting this up here. This may be some Slackware pieces. This is my first Slackware distribution to check out. I know this is one of the old school guys here that's been around for a long time. So that's good to know. Okay, check out this sweet calculator. If that doesn't hurt your eyes, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what can hurt your eyes worse than that. <laughs> uh, there we go. That is glorious. They, you know, they've got this up menu up here on the top left hand side of the bar here, but you can also right click and get the same situation here. All right. <laughs> it's the hot dog stopwatch. Just what you need on your desktop computer. Woo! Check it out. Now we're gonna lap this guy. Oh yeah, second lap, third lap. All right, okay. Functionality sake, it works. Amiga drives, we just looked at that. So now look at this. Okay. That is cool looking. Now remember, I'm really trying to get a sense of some things here. So forgive me if you are used to working in this. Oh, this is just super cool. Here's our shell. There is top. <laughs> and we are using 323 megabytes to get this awesomeness running at idle. I love it. Breakout. Oh yes, breakout. Whoa, that's like super fast. Like how am I even? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I, look, I never claimed to be a pro at gaming, but that is fast. And I don't even know if there's any configuration here. <laughs> but if you're a pro at breakout, it's here. We'll check a couple of the others here in a little bit. I really do want, ha uh ha. -huh. See, you even have the classic games that look horrible. I mean, this is just amazingly beautiful. All right, let's check out about this computer. Horrible, obsolete, typeface, and dreadful on-screen graphics for Linux. Written by Arthur Chong. This, my friend, is glorious. Thank you for giving us this. <laughs> ah, cool, dude. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, oh look, I can just go right into these other modes right here. I thought I was gonna have to boot into each one, but let's, uh, let's enter in the Amiga mode here. Oh, well this is great, wow. This is awesome. So you can sit there and change your classic look within the menu. I didn't know if we were gonna have to go through and restart it every time, but we're not gonna have to do that. Drives panel, now we can see what is here and available. And then, <laughs> oh, this is glorious. Take screenshot with selection box. Okay, let's take a screenshot here of our amazingly blue screen. Screenshot, this is where it's located to let you know. There's some functionality here, and truthfully, things are pretty snappy. Now, let's go to Mac Classic Mode. Is that where we were before? And Mac Color Mode. What about Enter Hot Dog Stand Mode? Oh, wow. This is gloriously bad. Oh, check it out. <laughs> We've got the Chrome web browser ready to go in Hot Dog Linux in the Hot Dog Stand desktop environment. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, look at this. So if I do this, okay, I see that. That's great. Okay, very cool. Oh, where'd you go? Okay, this is, this is actually pretty interesting. I really do. <laughs> like why? <laughs> and then you've got this here. That's great. Thanks. 
Let's go to Atari ST mode. Oh, look at that. Look at that font. Check out that font. Let's check out the audio panel. Open mixer. Check out... <laughs> check out the sweet mixer. Okay. Why am I getting so much enjoyment from this? I, I don't know, but I am. I am getting way too much enjoyment from this. I tell you what, my favorite was probably the Atari ST mode. Let's install Slackware, the hot dog Linux situation, and let's install this. <laughs> Press any key to continue. Now we're writing the partition table to the disk. Yes, great, great formatting. EXT4 is fine for this scenario. I mean, my eyes are hurting when I move this, guys. All right, looks like you're good to go. I actually do want to take a look at Slackware, finding a good distribution, whether it's just the Slackware distribution or one I should try. If you have one that you think I should try, let me know. We will speed this up because this is too good not to check out. I've never seen this install with Slackware and I haven't seen it with Hot Dog Linux. We're gonna speed it up. Let's go. And we're done. We're doing uh, user creation. Looks like the kernel is 5.10 on this, just so you know. And it's installing Lilo for our bootloader. Actually, this is a pretty, pretty good installer here. Um, I'm just, my eyes are hurting working through all of this. But you can add cups. You can activate IP packet forwarding, open VPN daemon, the Samba file print server, system complete. We're gonna shut down. So we've installed it, and now we're gonna see what happens when we boot into the system after we install it. Here we go, the username, and it looks like all of the modes that are that you may want are here for us and ready to go. So you wanna go here, you wanna to go to hot dog stand mode, it's still here. And look, if you're about Slackware, you know, th and this is my first go at it, I, I really haven't, do you see what's happening right now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is so amazing. We didn't go through our typical install a package, remove a package. This really was about this desktop environment. <laughs> These, um, I'll just say the retro desktops that are available for you here. I'm probably gonna choose another Slackware distribution to use to actually review and walk through installing and removing packages. Look, that was like a great fun game that you play for 20 minutes and just get a, just get a kick out of it. That was so much fun. My eyes honestly are hurting a little bit from some of that. They really did uh, succeed in their goals on that. I thought you might get a kick out of it. I definitely got a kick out of it. What did we learn about Hot Dog Linux? They succeeded in their goals. That's what they did. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. If you have kids, you know exactly what I just said and I've just haunted you for many days to come. I apologize, not really. Hopefully, I'm gonna find a Slackware distribution for me to walk through. I think it'll be good for me to learn to do some things like compiling. You know, I haven't compiled software in a long time since my first go trying to learn Linux, so it'll be fun for me to learn. Hey, Hot Dog Linux, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't know who would use that regularly, if you would, and you do, let me know in the comments. See you later, guys.